All right, this speech is my recital. I think it's very vital to rock a rhyme that's right on time. It's tricky is the title. All right, Daryl McDaniels has managed to do it numerous of times as one of the pioneers of hip hop. I hope I did him proud. Now he's taking his pen and pad and dropping a children's book titled Daryl's Dream. Here to tell us all about, uh, all about it is Run DMC's Daryl McDaniels. That's why he rocks the rhymes and I rock the anchor chair. DMC, Daryl, so happy to welcome you to the show and so thrilled to talk about your children's book. You're one of the pioneers years of hip-hop. I've been a fan for since 1984, I think. Um, so thank you so much for being here. What made you get into the uh, children's book sector? Well, it actually wasn't part of the plan, but Tiffany, as you know, everything I've created, especially musically, would inspire, motivate, and entertain. But at the same time, it would make people see the greatness and potential in them. So all of y'all for the last 40 years, y'all know Daryl from when he got out of high school, went to St. John's University, hooked up with Run and Jay, and walked this way with Aerosmith and my Adidas to tell the world it's tricky to rock a rhyme. But if you remember, Tiffany, when I first started on my first record, I said, I'm DMC in the place to be. I go to St. John's University. Since kindergarten, I acquired the knowledge. After 12th grade, I went straight to college. Everything I've done with hip hop and rock and roll inspired and motivated. So now I realize something. I could do with a kid's book the very same thing I've been doing all these years with my music and my videos. I can inspire and motivate the kids. And it's for two reasons. To let them know this. They are perfect just the way they are. And just the way they are allows them to have everything necessary for them to succeed. That little kid, young DMC Daryl in the book, is them. So I want them to see the possibilities for them to be who they are and become the people they were put here to be. Because Tiffany, then the next great, great journalists like you and the next great entertainers and doctors and lawyers and scientists and astronauts. So it's to encourage, to inspire. And also in this day and age, Tiffany, you are perfect just like you are. I, I love that. Well, first of all, I want you to know that as you were dropping that rhyme, the crew here in the studio, everybody started <laughs> rapping along. Uh, I love exactly. that. You make such they a good know. point. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's a classic. You are a classic. You are an icon. And it's interesting that you make that point because you did. You rapped about going to college. R.I.P. to Jam Master J. I remember yes, uh, even with KRS-One. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I remember KRS-One. And I remember him saying Scott LaRock has a college degree. And this was something to be yes. proud of. So hip hop right. has, has really changed, I think, in some of the, the messaging um, that yes. we hear now. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm curious if you, Daryl, today could talk to little Daryl uh, at that time. What would be your message to little Daryl, like the character in your book? Yes. Everything that people, <clears throat> excuse me, everything that people think isn't cool about you is some of the coolest things, not just on Earth, in the universe. Tiffany, I got teased and picked on because I wore glasses. But when I got on that microphone, I took rock and roll and I took hip hop, I took education and creativity, and I said D's for doing it all of the time. M's for the rhymes that are all mine. C's for a cool, cool ass can be. And Run would ask me, why you wear those glasses? And I would say, so I can see. So a lot of kids think my freckles, my red hair, I'm not as tall as this person, I wear glasses. Oh, I gotta take piano lessons. Oh, I gotta take violin lessons. I want children to know that creation, or um, art, art, the arts and creativity and education is powerful. Your freckles make you incredible. Your red hair makes you incredible. Your height makes you incredible. Do not be, I would tell little Daryl, like little Daryl in the book is ashamed of his glasses. I would tell them, do not be ashamed of who you are. You are who you are for a reason. I love that. That's why everybody in the studio knows every rhyme. I rhymed about Christmas. I rhymed That's about right. family, son. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can relate. The re reason why I think yeah. the book is so the children can have something to relate but I want them to see the power and beauty in themselves. And that's what DMC that. did my whole career. Inspire, motivate, but make you realize you can be greater than the mighty king of rock. 
the mighty king of rock. All right, you know, we're who knew we are way over time because you have so much to say. So I'm going to put you on the well, spot right now and ask you, will you please come back on this show? Because I have so many more questions. I wanted to talk to you about hip hop. My brother and I used to sit in yes. the kitchen and try to memorize. It's tricky. And I, we would always talk oh, yes. in the middle like, you messed up. We got to start over. So please come back on the show because this requires a bigger conversation. Uh, I, and we can I talk promise more about your I will band. come. All I right, all right. I'm going to have my you, bookers follow up with you. your team. All right. Thank you so there, much, Daryl McDaniels. I really appreciate you being day, here. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And same to you. Thank you so much.